Now the last thing I need is a button on my form that when I click it, it will go ahead and open up the report. The report will request the information from the query. The query will request the start and end date from the report entry panel. And once the query has that, it'll go ahead and generate the report. Uh, it'll generate the data set, which will feed the report. And the report will open up and display. The report will also request the start and end date um, as information at the top of the report header. So to start this, I'm going to come back out here, click on Design View, and I'm going to come up to Design tab and make sure see my Command button here. I'm going to click once and then click down here underneath, and I'm going to go ahead and do uh, some report operations. I'm going to go ahead and open a report. I'll click on Next. The employer, employee freight by date is the one I want. I'm going to choose Text, and up here I'm going to give this a name, and I'll just say View Freight by Date. Make sure I have caps out here. And make sure this button is checked so you have freight by date. I'll click on uh, down here. Uh, let's see, I want to go ahead and click on Next. I'll leave Command button the same. I'll go ahead and click on Finish. And now I've got my View Freight by Date button. And I'll save my changes. And when I come back out here to Form View, it's going to go ahead and try to populate the report, but since I didn't type any dates out there, I don't get anything out there. So let's try typing in a date. So I'm just going to go ahead and look at the month of January, including um, February 1st. So out here, I'm going to start on 1197, finish on 2197. I'm going to view freight by date, and it should go ahead and populate this. I see the two dates up here at the top, and I also see my data down here um, below. It's gone ahead and populated this in the report. Now just to show you, if I go back here in Design View of my entry form, and I double click the border on the button and I take a look out here under event that is what that little uh, wizard performed or created when I built my button and the wizard popped up and took the information if I come out here under event and then look at the embedded macro and click the three dotted button I can preview what took place and all that's happening out here is just saying open report and I'm giving it the report name and then it's going ahead and just opening the report. You could have built this macro yourself by coming out here and including um, database objects. You could have gone out here and opened up a report right here using this guy. This is all it used was just this big action um, segment here. You could have just pulled this in yourself um, and built this macro. So that's all that took place there. And um, that's it. The only thing left to do is put a little polish on this, but my project is done.